Hi! Welcome to the Science Center! Here's a really fun exhibit about scientists, where we can learn all about different kinds of scientists and the cool tools they use. Meet my mom. She's a scientist called a marine biologist. She studies living things in the ocean. Hola, nice to meet you. There are many different types of scientists, and each one uses special tools to do their job. Let's play a game. Gabriela, you tell me what you're thinking about, and I'll tell you a type of scientist that studies that. Then we'll help find the equipment you need to do your work. <laughs> that sounds great. Okay, let's play. Okay. You know what I think is really cool? Birds. There are so many different kinds to learn about. Oh, you'd like to study birds. Sounds like you want to be a wildlife biologist. A wildlife biologist studies living things in nature. You'll spend a lot of time outdoors and need tools to help you see wild animals from far away. What tools does Gabriella need to do her job? No, this scientist doesn't wear space boots and gloves. Try again. A camera records what you see. Hmm, this scientist doesn't use a space helmet. Keep trying. A bird call is like a whistle that brings birds close to you. A vest holds your equipment, boots are for hiking, and a hat shields your eyes from the sun. Binoculars help wildlife look close even though it's far away. Great job! <laughs> Whoa! What if I could get an eagle to land on my arm? Let's play again. What cool things do you want to investigate? You know what I want to do? I want to mix stuff together to make new things. Okay, sounds to me like you want to be a chemist. A chemist studies what everything is made of and tries to make new things. You'll need special gear to protect your eyes, hands, and clothes while you work. What tools does Gabriella need to do her job? Hmm, this scientist doesn't use a mask. Keep trying. Goggles protect the chemist's eyes. Nope, this scientist doesn't use flippers. Try again. Safety gloves protect the chemist's hands. A magnifying glass is used by a different type of scientist. Don't give up. A flask can be used to mix liquids together. A lab coat protects the chemist from harmful materials. Great job! <laughs> I like to imagine I'm a chemist making big reactions. Let's play one last time. What do you want to learn more about? You know what I would like to know more about? Rocks. I want to know what they're made of. Hmm, sounds like you would like to be a geologist. A geologist studies what the earth is made of and how the earth was formed. You'll need tools to help you dig and look closely at rocks and minerals. What tools does Gabriella need to do her job? Sorry, try again. This scientist doesn't use scuba gear. This gemstone was found in the ground. Hmm, this scientist doesn't use a lab coat. Keep trying. Use a shovel to explore what's in the ground. Goggles are used by a different type of scientist. Don't give up. A rock hammer can be used to chip rocks to find stuff like gold. No, this scientist doesn't use a thermometer. Try again. 
The magnifying glass lets you see things very closely. Great job! Oh, it's so beautiful! That was fun, and you did such an excellent job. Thanks for playing with us. Mom, I can't wait to grow up so I can be a scientist, too. Mia, you don't need to wait until you're a grown-up to be a scientist. You can explore and make lots of discoveries all around you, right now. Hasta luego. Come back and play again soon. Okay, let's play. Okay. You know what I think is so neat? The weather! I want to know why it's different every day. Aha! I think you would like to be a meteorologist. A meteorologist studies the weather and tries to tell if it's going to be rainy, snowy, or sunny. What tools does Gabriella need to do her job? A wind meter is a device that tells how fast the wind is blowing. No, this scientist doesn't wear space boots and gloves. Try again. A rain jacket keeps you dry in the rain. A thermometer tells what the temperature of the air is. Goggles are used by a different type of scientist. Don't give up. An umbrella protects you from the rain. Great job! <laughs> if I were a meteorologist, I could tell you when it was going to rain. Let's play again. What cool things do you want to investigate? Okay. You know what I think is really cool? Birds. There are so many different kinds to learn about. Oh, you'd like to study birds. Sounds like you want to be a wildlife biologist. A wildlife biologist studies living things in nature. You'll spend a lot of time outdoors and need tools to help you see wild animals from far away. What tools does Gabriella need to do her job? A camera records what you see. No, this scientist doesn't use a thermometer. Try again. A vest holds your equipment, boots are for hiking, and a hat shields your eyes from the sun. Lo siento. Sorry. Try again. This scientist doesn't use a flask. A bird call is like a whistle that brings birds close to you. Binoculars help wildlife look close even though it's far away. Great job! <laughs> Whoa! What if I could get an eagle to land on my arm? Let's play one last time. What do you want to learn more about? I know. I want to learn more about big, giant whales and where they live and what they eat. Oh, so you want to be a marine biologist. Like me. A marine biologist studies life in the ocean. So you'll need special tools to help you breathe underwater and swim around. What tools does Gabriella need to do her job? Nope, this scientist doesn't work with gemstones. Try again. Nope, this scientist doesn't wear space boots and gloves. Try again. You can use a net to scoop up and observe ocean life closely. Lo siento. Sorry. Try again. This scientist doesn't use an umbrella. Flippers move you quickly through the water. This vest, boots and hat are used by a different type of scientist. Don't give up. A mask lets the marine biologist see underwater. Lo siento. Sorry. Try again. This scientist doesn't use a camera. 
You can stay underwater a long time with scuba gear. Great job. <laughs> I love to think about playing with porpoises and other sea creatures. That was fun, and you did such an excellent job. Thanks for playing with us. Mom, I can't wait to grow up so I can be a scientist, too. Mia, you don't need to wait until you're a grown-up to be a scientist. You can explore and make lots of discoveries all around you, right now. Hasta luego. Come back and play again soon.